right away, Ringers. You guys had a tough loss in the first game. It seemed like you battled back pretty resiliently in that one. Uh, overtime thriller. What are your thoughts? Well, it's always good to uh, play competitively, and we did lose, so that's a positive. Execution was terrible. We play competitive because we can't play rec because we want to win. <laughs> Do you guys have any kind of offensive scheme coming into this, or you just kind of a running gun offense? I think we're uh, pass the ball, confuse them a lot, and then shoot <laughs> kind of offense. And yell when the other team Yes, scores. and I'm really good at like scaring them by yelling. <laughs> I guess we're red, um, and that's a good choice of words, so, because uh, there were quite a few rags, but it was a lot of fun. So, uh, I'd never been in a wheelchair before, so it was an interesting experience right from the get-go. Oh, Hi, I'm here with Christina from the... Uh, <laughs> cut that I'm here with Don Tilton for the Crouch and Mount Eagles. Thrill the shootout shot to send your team to the finals. How's it feel? It feels great. Hi, I'm here with Dobby the House Elf, the official mascot of the Crazy Super 8s. Dobby, what did you think of that game out there? Uh, my thoughts exactly. Do you think you'll have better luck coming back next year? A man of many words. Back to you. Granite State Independent Living's Wheelchair Basketball Fundraiser combines two really great things. It combines fundraising, which is super important so that we have the funds to do the important work of taking care of people with disabilities, but it involves a huge element of fun and awareness at the same time. Awareness because after sitting in a wheelchair for a little while and trying to play basketball, which is hard enough on two feet, but it's really, really hard in a wheelchair, it gives the participants a sense of that uh, of what life in a wheelchair is, is like and hopefully when they leave the event maybe they're going to go out for dinner or they're going to go grab a drink or something like that they go to walk into the restaurant and they have to go up three steps maybe for the first time they'll have that thought if i was in a wheelchair i couldn't enter this restaurant i couldn't have this drink i couldn't order a meal here and, and that's the awareness piece we're looking for on top of that it's really a lot of fun it's not about athleticism. We have people say, oh, I'm not an athlete, I can't do that. No one is an athlete once they try this, okay? Unless they actually play in a league on a wheelchair basketball team, okay? Everybody else starts at ground zero. Yeah, it's hard, that's what makes it fun. People have a great time failing. Uh, you will too, I really hope you'll join us. I help raise some money for people so they can be independent, so they can have the life that they choose just like you or I would, uh, and have a great time doing it. Thanks.